Hello everybody, Tutorials by E here, and today I'm going to do a Rainbow Loom bracelet and charms collection video. So this week I am just going to do all the bracelets that I have, and next week I will be doing some of the charms that I have. So stay tuned for next week's video, subscribe so that you don't miss it, and please give this video a like, and let's get on into it. So this is where I keep all of my things that I have made. If you watch my Rainbow Loom Storage Hacks video, you will see that this is also something you can do with yours. So let's get started. So first, this is, I, I don't think I ever made a tutorial on this one, but I used like the slip knot technique and did two of them and it's reversible. And I believe that the blue is glow in the dark. I have a really, really long fish I made out of neon bands, a just a normal fishtail bracelet, or I think this is fishtail with border, I believe this is the fun stripes bracelet, and most of these have tutorials that are on my channel. This was the um, single chain variation one, two way chain bracelet, I do not remember what this one was called, but I believe that I did a tutorial on it. I think it may have been the slip knot bracelet. This was single chain variation two, or, or the rings bracelet, I can't remember which. A sort of fishtail bracelet, but I think it has sort of like a border. I'm not exactly sure what I did with this one here. A triple single using the zebra bands. I wanted to see how they looked. I can't remember what this one's called, but I used rainbow bands and the black border. This one was, I believe, my loops and chain bracelet or links and chains. Again, I really can't remember, but this one is definitely one of my favorite patterns that I've done. This was one of my first reversible bracelets that I created and I liked it because it had sort of like a woven I believe it was called the woven chain bracelet so it had a woven on the front and sort of like a chain pattern on the back a single chain bracelet but with double bands so that it's thicker this bracelet this one's actually a pretty recent one it's very easy to do and is great to do if you have a lot of C clips left over the lots of knots bracelet a very very old single chain bracelet. I made this one actually using like ponytail holders because I didn't have any rain balloon bands yet. Another really old single chain bracelet. These are made using glow in the dark bands. I think this is called the heart links bracelet. This is not my t pattern. This is actually tutorials by A's pattern but I really really liked it and so I made it out of sparkly blue bands and white bands. This is, I believe, the double single bracelet, which is, this one I made on the, um, one of them I made on the Wonder Loom and the other one I made on the Rainbow Loom. I think this is the zigzag chain bracelet. Another single chain bracelet. I had called this one the colorful confetti bracelet, but then I realized that Twirls by A actually had the same pattern with a different name. So that video is no longer on my channel, but you should go over and check out her video. This is the scallop bracelet. I made this one for Valentine's Day and I used Valentine's Day colors. This is my crown bracelet. And this is one of the very first things I ever made. It's you, it was a, supposed to be a flower charm, I think. I just made it up on the monster tail loom and it didn't turn out perfectly, but it's okay. I look, think this is a, yeah, this is a little scallop ring that I made. Another lots of knots bracelet. Another bracelet that I called colorful confetti, but it's actually called something else. I can't remember what the other one was. A little bit of the crown bracelet. 
one of my another one of my favorite bracelets. This is my Rainbow Loom Charm bracelet. And it has my pineapple charm, rainbow loom flower power charm, another rainbow loom flower power charm, and a flower power charm mini, and an Easter egg. I don't think I have a tutorial for this one because I think this was actually somebody else's pattern. I think this is the Chinese fin finger trap bracelet. This is again not my pattern. I just had watched a video on it and then wanted to see if I could recreate it. Here's another bracelet and another double single. And this is what I called a lot of knots bracelet. I think that this one was supposed to be the zigzag chain bracelet. I'm not sure what this was, but it looks like it didn't turn out very well, so yeah. <laughs> this is the garden vine bracelet. This is another one of my first tutorials. Another one of the rings bracelets. I don't think I ever made a tutorial on this, but this was sort of like my own spinoff of the dragon scale bracelet. Another very old single chain bracelet. Another single chain bracelet. Fish tail bracelet. This is the ruffle bracelet. I don't think I ever did a tutorial on this one. I'm not sure what it is, but it's probably just one of my patterns that I accidentally made up playing around and then forgot. <laughs> Garden vine bracelet. This one had the flowers with glow in the dark blue. This is a bracelet that I made recently and I just started with a triple single base and then I made three flower power charm minis and attached them on the back. And it looks really pretty. Another woven chain bracelet. A colorful confetti bracelet with um, rainbow and moon, not, yeah, I think they're moon bands. It's a solar band, so whenever they're in sunlight, they change to a different color. These moon bands change to pink. Another, um, triple, not triple single, another single chain bracelet, but with double bands. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, yes, this is another one of my loops. I did not have a name for this one, but I will. I, I would like to do a tutorial on it, but I can't think of a good name. So if you have any good name suggestions, please comment below and tell me. And this is another one of that bracelet. This is the scallop bracelet. It has lots of little scallops, and I believe this one's glow in the dark. Here's another one of the first things I made. It has that flower charm that I showed you earlier and bands to make it into a ring. Didn't turn out extremely well. You can kind of see where I tried to attach it to the ring, but overall it was okay because it was like my first try. A fishtail. I really like these bands. I think that they're the pearl bands. It's like bl dark blue on the outside and pink, I think, on the inside. I don't have a name for this one, but I'm thinking it should be something like Ruffle. Like the Ruffle bracelet? No, I already did that. Never mind, like Ruffles and Links maybe. But I don't have a tutorial for this one either. And here I have this bracelet. Again, I don't think that this is my pattern. I kind of made it up off of another bracelet I had been given. And so. Yeah, it's reversible and I think it looks pretty cool. If you know who made this bracelet, please comment down below. That way I can figure out who made this bracelet and what his actual name is. This is the shell bracelet. Another fun stripes bracelet. This time it's using neon colors. Another double single. Rainbow Loom applique technique. A twisted bands bracelet that I made into sort of a different sort of bracelet. It has like the extension and then it has three parts going together, if that makes any sense. A another fish tail with a sort of a border bracelet. Another ring. Another ring. Just a single chain. 
and let's see this is a I think it was a bicycle chain bracelet this is not my design a single chain this one I cannot remember what it was called but this is my design a single chain variation a zigzag chain me playing around with bands. I do not remember what that one's called. I think that this one was called maybe the Norwood bracelet? I can't remember. And this is one that I do not have a tutorial for. This is the Raindrop bracelet, a fishtail, another fishtail, and another scallop bracelet. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, please subscribe and comment, and I'll be back again next Friday with part two of my Rain Balloon collection video.